Hey guys, it's Mole and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm doing a little special birthday edition makeup. Tomorrow is my 19th birthday, so I just decided to do this really like pretty rose gold pinkish kind of look. And I don't know, I'm like loving it. I just love how my skin's looking. I love the highlighter, the eyeshadow, the lipstick. I'm just in love with this look. But yeah, so tomorrow is my 19th birthday, which isn't really that special. I don't know, I just feel like 19 and 20 are just such like an eh age. But um, I am turning 19 tomorrow, so I decided to do a makeup look for you guys inspired for my birthday. This is the look I came up with. I hope you guys like it. If you guys want to know how I achieved this birthday look, just keep on watching. Alright guys, so the first thing I'm going to be doing is my brows. I'm going to be doing them off camera, but I'm just going to show you guys what products I'm using and how I'm going to be like filling them in. So the first thing I'm going to use is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Black. And I'm just going to be taking this and outlining my eyebrows. And then after I'm done outlining them with this, I'm gonna take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in the shade Granite, and then I'm gonna take this and fill them in like wherever there's like sparse areas and like stuff like that. Um, and the reason I do this is because the micro brow pencil is tinier. So if you can see that, it's like, it's like a pencil. And I think that's so much easier to get like the front of your eyebrows and the outline of it. And then the brow definer is a little thicker and that helps with like filling in your eyebrows. So I'm just gonna do that off camera and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now that my brows are all filled in, I'm going to be priming my eyelids to get ready for eyeshadow. And for today's look, I think I'm gonna go for more of like a rose goldy look. I don't know, every time it's my birthday, I love doing like rose gold and like pink kind of looks. Like, I don't know, I like to look girly for my birthday, but I'm gonna be going in with the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Guys, this concealer has been my number one concealer for like the past two months. Like ever since it came out, I got my hands on this and I love it. Like I love it more than Tarte Shape Tape. I don't know why, but I feel like Tarte Shape Tape is a little too like drying. And this one is just like dewy and like full coverage. And I just, I love it. So I'm going to be going in with this and just putting a little bit on my eyelids. And this concealer a little bit goes a really long way and it's very like full coverage. So... Just keep that in mind. So now I'm just going to take my Fenty Beauty sponge and just blend that out. Alright, so this is like the brush I use for my like powder under my eyes and everything. And there's so much like powder in it. Like, do you guys see that? Like, that's insane. But I'm just going to take whatever is on this brush and just put it on my eyelid. Because it already has so much powder in it and I'm not trying to put more in it. So I'm just going to take that and set my eyelids. And then I'm going to be going into the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. I haven't used this palette in so long, but I just love the colors in it. They're all just so like orangey and warm. So I'm just going to be going in with this Mikasa E330 brush. It's just like a buffer brush. Also, guys, I have a 10% discount code for this. I'll leave all of my discount codes and everything in the description below. So I'm going to go in with the shade Sauced and Low Blow and just mix those two shades together and then put that in my crease. I love this brush because it literally just gets like right in there, like right in my crease. It's not like too big and not too small. And now I'm going to go in with He Devil, which is this darker red shade. And I'm just going to take that and deepen up my crease. And I'm just going to go in with the same brush. So I'm going to take He Devil and just deepen up my crease. Alright guys, so now for the fun part, I'm going to go in with the Stila Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Rose Gold Retro. And it's just this really pretty rose gold shade. And I'm going to take that and only put it on like this part of my eye. Like right where I ended that crease color. So, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain, but you guys can probably see it as I do it. I'm literally only going to put it right I'm not going to go any more into my lid, just right there. I actually have to get more of this because I'm running out, like, there's like barely anything on the wand. I 
I feel like I haven't done my makeup in front of a camera in so long, guys. I've just been, like, so, like, unmotivated to do my makeup. Like, even at school, I just do, like, basic makeup every day because I'm just so tired and I don't even know. I've just been so unmotivated to do my makeup. But, like, recently, like, for the past week or so, I've gotten, like, a burst of energy and I've just been wanting to film, but I haven't gotten time, and now I could just sit down and film. Now, I'm just gonna be going back into the two crease shades that I used before, and I'm just gonna kinda blend everything together. All right, guys, now I'm gonna go in to the Tarlet in Bloom palette, and I'm going to take the shades Sweet Up. I'm gonna take the shades Sweetheart and Smarty Pants right here, Guys, look at this shade right here. It's literally like a hip pan because I used to use this palette like every day when I first got it because it was like the only palette I had. But um, those two shades right there, I'm going to take them and put them on the rest of my lid. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with lashes. And for lashes today, I'm going to be using the Ardell Double Up Lashes. And they're in the style 207, and they look like, ooh, one of them fell, but they look like this. And I, th I think I'm going to cut them a little because they're like a little too big. Let me see. Yeah, I'm going to cut them the tiniest bit from the inner corner because I feel like they're a little bit too big. All right, so I'm just going to put on my lashes and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so now I'm going to go in with my base makeup. So to prime my face, well, first to moisturize, I'm going to take this Glam Glow Grow... Okay. So to moisturize my face, I'm going to take this Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. And I've been loving using this. I got this little sample for like you know, like the rewards you get at Sephora, I got this in there. Um, but I've been loving using this as a moisturizer because it is so like illuminating and like it makes your skin look so dewy. Put that all over my face. Guys, this thing smells so good. It smells like, like oranges. I don't even know, like oranges and like citrus. So for a primer, I'm going to go in with the Cover FX Blurring Primer, and I'm just going to take that and put that around my problem areas. And now I'm going to take the Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer that I used before on my eyelids, and I'm just going to put that around the dark areas around my mouth because those tend to like peek through after I put foundation on, no matter how full coverage the foundation is. I don't know why, but I always like putting concealer there. So I'm just gonna do that and then take my beauty blender and just blend it out. Also guys, I don't think I ever said this in like a video, but the darkness I have around my mouth, I actually, it's like, um, it's actually scarring from allergies that I used to have so when I was younger I never knew I was allergic to like certain ingredients in makeup well obviously now I know so I tend not to use those but I'm allergic to certain ingredients in makeup like propel and glycol and fragrance and those are like the two major things that I'm allergic to and it makes me like break out around my mouth sometimes I do use it because I have medicine now which will like just like I just put it on and then it'll go away but sometimes it like gets like really bad but when I was younger I never knew I had these allergies and I used to just like put makeup on my face for like dance competitions and stuff and I never had medicine to help me just in case like I reacted to the ingredients and it just got so bad and I used to get so itchy and dry around my mouth it used to get like really like black like if you ever saw like old pictures of me I used to be so ugly because I used to have that allergic reaction around my mouth. But now because I found out I had the allergies, I found out like probably around like three or four years ago that I had this allergy. And ever since then I haven't, I've been like staying away from like those ingredients and it's just been like really helping me as you can see. So now for foundation, I'm gonna be going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I have been loving this foundation lately because it's like $3 and it's full coverage. It is such a good foundation, like drugstore foundation because it's so cheap. And also, I've been using this every day because this is the only foundation that matches me at the moment. So, because I don't know if you guys can see, I have the weirdest, the weirdest tan going on. I have like, my arms are dark, my chest is white, like, I just need everything to match. So, I'm going to blend it down 
all the way to my chest too just so everything like blends together the one thing that i hate about this foundation is the smell it smells like paint and i hate the smell of that like I don't know. I'm not a big fan. I'm just going to take my beauty sponge from Fenty that I was using before and just blend it all away. Can you guys see? Like, this foundation is so cheap. I recommend everyone go and try it. It is, like, very matte, so if you have dry skin, I don't know if this is going to be a good foundation for you. Unless, like, you mix it with some, like, oil or something. That'll probably, like, help it. Um, but... If you have like dewy to combination or normal skin, you're gonna love this foundation. And it's so affordable as well. Like, pretty sure I got this for like $3.99. Like, that's nothing, guys. Some foundations are like $40 and that's like crazy. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go in with that same concealer and just put it everywhere I usually highlight. And I'm only gonna take a couple of dots. Like, I'm not gonna do like the big V's I usually do because this concealer is so full coverage and when you put too much it doesn't look that good um but yeah okay so now i'm just gonna take my sponge and blend it all out oh guys i wanted to talk to you about something so for my next video i don't know if i should film how i edit my instagram pictures or what's or do like a re what's on my iphone for like this year because i did do one last year and i know a lot of people liked it but I don't know if I should do a what's on my iPhone or um, how I edit my Instagram pictures. Because a lot of people ask how I edit my Instagram pictures as well. Um, maybe I'll do like both. Like both in one video or would that be too long? I don't know. Uh, I'm also going to use like the edge of the sponge to just kind of make that line for my eyeshadow. Um... Also, guys, this sponge, this is the Fenty Beauty sponge, and honestly, I recommend it so much more than the Beauty Blender sponge. It's so much softer. It, I've, like, noticed it lasts longer, and um, it's cheaper because the Beauty Blender is $20. I think this one's, like, $18. It is just, like, a $2 difference, but I don't know. I like this one better. It's, like, so much softer and nicer. Rihanna's been killing the game lately. Like, Fenty Beauty's been coming out with some bomb glosses and lipsticks and... I really want to like get a bunch of them and try them out. Maybe I'll do another like Fenty Beauty full face like video. I think I did one when like the whole entire line came out at first, but I think I'm going to do another one once I'm not broke because I'm broke right now. All right, now I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D Golden Brightening Powder and I'm just going to take some of that. I'm just going to take some of that and bake under my eyes and everywhere else I like highlighted. I actually have to hurry up because it's a 206 right now and I have class at four, so that's great. That's great. So I don't really like letting my bake sit for too long, so I'm gonna go in with the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Powder Foundation. And I'm going to take that and just set my whole face and buff that out. So now for bronzer, I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer in the shade cinnamon This is from like the contour kit. So I'm gonna be taking this So for bronzer, I'm gonna be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer in the shade cinnamon This is from like the contour kit and then I'm also gonna be taking the Colourpop pressed powder bronzer It's so dirty. Don't even look at it But I'm just gonna be taking this because it's darker than this I'm gonna be mixing these two shades and putting face before school started i went to the beach and i tanned i literally sat in the sun for like five hours and i got so dark that all of my bronzers all of my foundations nothing was my shade so i had to go and buy like a bunch of like darker shades of everything so these are like one of the darkest bronzers that i could find um this one i had that's why it's like so used but this one i've had for a while and then the anastasia one i got it off of amazon for like 12 dollars i think um, but yeah, I've been loving them both together because one's more like orangey and one's more cool tone. So it's like the perfect like mix. Okay, so now for my nose contour, I'm going to go in with just this small like brush and I'm going to take 
another shade from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, and I'm going to take the shade Espresso, which is like a dark cool tone color. I'm just going to take that and contour my nose. Well, I'm going to just take my same foundation powder that I was using before and just blend out this nose contour. Okay, so now for blush, I'm going to go in with the shade Traveled from Tarte. It's this really pretty corally pink shade. I've been loving using this. I don't know. I just love it on my skin tone. So I'm just going to go in with an Aesthetica P12 brush. This, I think, came in my BoxyCharm. Um, but I'm just going to put that on my cheeks. Do you guys see that? Like, I don't know. I just think it's such, like, a pretty color. Like, it just gives a great, like, flush of color to your cheeks. I'm gonna take a little on my nose so I look a little sun-kissed. All right, so now for my favorite part, highlighter. I'm gonna be going in with Becca Champagne Pop and I'm gonna be mixing it with a little bit of ColourPop's Super Shock Cheek in Butterfly Beach. And it's just this really pretty rose gold color. So I'm gonna be taking both of these and putting it on my cheeks, my nose, my inner corner, my brow bone, and my upper lip. So for my cheeks, I'm gonna be taking a bigger tapered kind of looking brush. I think this is, it's like gone, like the writing's all gone, but I think this is a Morphe R33 brush. Um, I'm just gonna be taking that and putting it on my cheeks. I love these two colors together, guys. They're so, like they just give you the perfect like goldish pink color. I love it. Now I'm going to take this small brush from ColourPop. It's just like a flat buffer brush. And I'm just going to be taking those same two shades and putting them on my brow bone. There we go. All right, so now to finish off my eye look, I'm gonna go back into the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette and I'm gonna be taking the same two transition shades I used, which were Sauced and Low Blow, these two right here. And I'm also gonna be taking that darker red shade and just mixing those all under my eye. I'm not gonna go all the way. I'm only gonna go halfway though. All right, now I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Define Line Eyeliner, and I'm just gonna put that in my waterline. Guys, my camera is like pissing me off. It keeps like not recording because the memory keeps going out. Um, but basically all I did was just put, I don't know like where it stopped recording, but basically all I did was just put my eyeshadow, the matte shadows that I used on my lid and everything. I just put that on my waterline. And then I also took my Maybelline Define Line Liner and lined my waterline. And then I took the L'Oreal Carbon Black Mascara and just blended my real lashes with the fake ones and then I put that on my lower lashes. And the last thing that I did that I don't think it got recorded was I just put brow gel in my brows. So I used the Benefit Gimme Brow and I just put that through my brows. All right, so now I'm just gonna do my lips. So for my lips today, I think I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna take Kylie Jenner's lip pencil in the shade Brown Sugar. And I'm just gonna align my lips. Oh, this is mean. I like Kylie's lip pencils because they're creamy, but they're so annoying because once you get to like the bottom, you can't even sharpen it because they just like the whole entire like lid just goes inside and you need to like shake it out. It's like so annoying. I'm gonna go in with Dulce K from Kylie as well. I've been loving using this like every single day for my lips. It's like the perfect nude. And the last thing for the lips is I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Gloss in the shade Fenty Glow. And I'm just going to take that and put it only in like the middle of my lips to make my lips look a little bigger. And then last but not least, I'm going to take my Morphe Finishing Setting Spray and just... Guys, this is another one of my favorites because the mist on the setting spray is so like fine. You like barely feel it. It doesn't leave any like residue on your face. I love it get it it's cheap 
Morphe, you're doing great, baby. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, make sure to go click that subscribe button and click the little bell so you get notifications every single time I post a new video. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'll see you guys next week. I have a really exciting video with my cousins coming next week, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Wait guys, don't leave just yet. Please make sure to go subscribe to my channel by clicking my face. It'll be over there. And also make sure to go watch my latest video by clicking over there. And also don't forget to follow all of my social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Snapchat. It'll all be on the bottom, probably over here somewhere. But yeah, bye. Go shorty, this is your birthday. We gonna party like